We are trying to use solar energy to solve common everyday problems. And one of the problems we see in today's world is uh, people use way too many batteries and with making a solar powered battery, something that charges on its own. It's very simple to use, unlike uh, most rechargeable batteries. You just uh, leave them on the sun, in the sun as long as you want and then when you're ready to use it, it should be ready for you. Well, the biggest problem is solar technology is not where it needs to be right now. Uh, at 15% efficiency, and that's peak efficiency. So when you talk about a Chicago day, which is cloudy or rainy, that efficiency tanks very quickly. So how do we use solar with that, that lack of efficiency in something as small as a AA battery? That was the biggest challenge for us. So a typical, let's just say, a typical rechargeable battery can be recharged to full capacity about 400 times. So ideally, something like this should be able to replace 400 alkaline batteries that you would buy in a store. That's in theory. Now, even if we drop that down to half, we're still think, saying 200 batteries. That, in addition to the fact that charging this battery consumes no power from the grid, If we can improve the quality of solar panels, that's definitely a big benefit for us. But the other aspect is understanding the user, and we still have to develop a really good model of people and how they, they think of batteries. And the problem is with something as common as a battery, it's very difficult to change the way people use a battery. Now we're saying, don't throw your battery, go leave them on the windowsill. Well, do you want things lying around in your windowsill? How do you organize them? How do you know which ones are charged and not? So just understanding the users is really difficult in a project like this.